Well, despite being handicapped in terms of manpower and infrastructure, the community health center in Upper Siang Stuting has left no stone unturned to ensure preliminary healthcare services and also administer COVID vaccination across the subdivision situated in Upper Siang district of Arunachal Pradesh and close to China. In fact, the CHC, which has two doctors, has successfully vaccinated more than 92% in first dose, 80% in second dose, 53% in the 15 years to 18 years category, and 98% in the nationwide Harghar Dastak plan. Where our colleague Ripunja Das spoke to the staff of the healthcare centre. Well, have a look. As Team North East Live has been reporting on various issues concerning Tuting subdivision in Upper Siang district of Arunachal Pradesh, we are here at the Community Health Center of Tuting and would like to know and show our viewers that despite various odds like shortage in manpower in terms of infrastructure, lacking in power supply, the staff here led by Dr. Mize, how they are serving the people around roughly around eight to 10,000 people of the entire subdivision of this bordering uh, subdivision. In fact, it, since it uh, borders China. First of thank you uh, to the North East uh, Life uh, team for this coverage. <coughs> About this, uh, our region is uh, mountainous, and uh, there are a lot of places which are yet to be uh, uh, the road yet to be connected. So, <clears throat> basically, last uh, it all started last year. We, uh, along with my team, uh, the most challenge we face is that, like especially when we went to uh, that uh, Singa, the Black Singa, which is approximately 70 to 80 kilometers from here. There were a lot of blockage on the way. So, after traveling for 50, 60 uh, kilometers by road, we have to walk by foot. And even there are some places uh, where there are landslides. We also risk our life uh, for this duty. But we managed somehow. The blazer uh, were happy because uh, our team has reached up to them. It's very rare. Uh, rare means like the rare site for them to see now the, the, the government. The, this uh, departments coming uh, reaching up to them. <coughs> also, like uh, there were quite a lot, uh, lot of blazes. Uh, we managed uh, because of my dedicated staff. They were tired, but we managed somehow. So the challenges. So there are many. Uh, like there is, since you have seen, there is a lack of, there is low voltage. There is electricity problem is there. So, but we try to manage with whatever we can. And however, whatever men re resources we have, and. The, the services we provide is 24 into 7 emergency whenever any patients came. And then we have delivery facilities out here. Uh, then we have started carrying out basic tests like LFT, liver function tests, kidney function tests. Then for malaria, typhoid fever, all these simple basic tests we have, tried, we have started. And vaccination is going on regarding COVID vaccination also. I'll, tr I'll like to highlight a bit because... Uh, our targeted population was around 4,627, according to the household survey, and we have crossed that one. Our uh, first dose co coverage stands at 108%. It's because of the frontline workers, IDBPs, and there's many migrant laborers. Then we have <coughs> uh, second dose percentage is around 92. Na? 15 to 17 years, Covaxin was started. So, and on that also, we have covered. Uh, almost all the schools. Not all, we have scored all the schools. We have given vaccination to all the schools. So uh, that's very encouraging and interesting news, isn't it? Because if you go about the geographical locale of this entire subdivision, it's quite hard and harsh mountains and uh, places which do not are totally inaccessible by road. Uh, they keep on walking for days and hours to reach the people to get them vaccinated due to which the vaccination percentage is 98%, which is a very good and high figure, I must say. With camera person Pranib, this is Ripunjay Das reporting from Tuting for Northeast Live.